Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. So in today's video, I wanted to do kind of a 2023 wrap up of everything that I've made this year um, and especially focusing on my favorite projects from each month. And hopefully this can give you a little bit of project inspo for 2024. And I hope that you all had a great Christmas and I'm wishing you all a wonderful new year. So I'm gonna be showing you all my absolute favorite projects I made this year. Um, from each month and I'm also going to be linking all tutorials down in the description um, so yeah if you like this video please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up um, so yeah let's get into it so starting off with January I made this solid granny square bluebell bag it consists of eight solid granny squares four on this side and four on the back and they're all joined together and then I did double crochets for the strap and then the bag charm is like these cute little bluebells I did this with like purple sparkly yarn um, this was from the range the sparkly yarn and this is one of my favorite projects because I really wanted to make um, like a really wearable bag but still with a little bit of like charm to it this is definitely one of my favorite projects I've made this year I feel like this wasn't a particularly long project for me either because um, once I had started one solid granny square I got the flow of it and I was able to make eight of them quite quickly and then obviously joining them together I can't remember what stitch I did I think I may have done a slip stitch or a single crochet and I have a tutorial on this um, which I will link below um, so yeah Another project that I made in January were these stained glass themed book sleeves. Um, this was definitely kind of a spirit of the moment idea that I had. Um, I hadn't really seen much kind of stained glass themed crochet pieces before and I really wanted to give it a go. So this was made with like pixel crochet um, design that I made on Stitch Fiddle um, and I basically just um, drew out like a moth and then I just worked around it so I just built on the design um, as I went outwards and the bottom I don't know if it's very visible but it's got like these um, black hearts at the bottom and then for this one this was like a ladybird theme um, again this was more um, kind of freestyle I think I didn't really have much of a plan and I just kind of went with whatever colours I had I wanted to use coloured yarn that wasn't really my favourite but I just wanted to see what I could make with my least favourite colours so yeah and I still really really like this project um, but it's not one that I particularly use often however I think just because of how unique they are to me um, this is why they, these were one of my favourite projects and also the tapestry didn't take me that long to do um, so yeah this was definitely one of my more earlier um, pixel crochet projects um, so that it's definitely not perfect and there are some mistakes in there. My next January project, one, one of my absolute favourite book sleeves that I've ever made is this cottage court themed book sleeve. I never made a tutorial for this but I did make a tutorial on this deer frame. Each square consists of like um, a different kind of cottage core style piece so I've got lavender here and then three strawberries here and then a mushroom here and then the deer frame here again I did make a tutorial for the deer frame and the other things were just like free-handed um, but yeah I just basically crocheted four squares and then I crocheted the four elements of each square and then I just um, sewed all of the elements on joined all the squares together and then the back was just like a half double crochet rows and rows of it I just did all the way up and then I joined the sides together leaving the top open and then I just did frills all around the edge so I think I did like three double crochets per stitch to make these frills um, again this is definitely I think this has imperfections to it I don't think that this was one of my best projects but it is one that I I had the idea of and I think the execution of it was pretty good again when I think of a kind of cottage core themed idea and then it comes out the way that I wanted it to again it kind of makes me feel very um, motivated to kind of continue to make different and more exciting cottage core ideas. It's definitely inspired by like those medieval crests that you get where it's like the that shape that's like split into four. I don't know the name of it. Um, but yeah, that was kind of the inspiration for this. Um, I just love this a lot and I definitely think I need to be using it more often. So yeah. The final project um, of my favourites in January was this Love Heart shoulder bag. I also made this in brown and cream. I really like this. Again, this was just kind of a spirit of the moment um, idea that I had and it's basically a love heart granny square um, 
with also like a solid granny square around it and then I just basically did this kind of um, sort of triangular slash rectangular shape so I basically started just with a normal row of um, I think this is half double crochet and then I decreased um, as I went up and I made two panels of that and then I did a long strap around the edge and I joined it all in one go and then I just did frills around the base of the bag. Um, I really like having like a pocket at the front of a bag, I always think that's really handy and it just adds a little bit more detail. Even though it is sort of Valentine's theme, I do think that it's wearable all year round. So yeah, I really, really liked making this one. So moving on to my favourite February projects, I made this cottage core style kind of shoulder bag. It has a decrease section sort of at the top of the bag, so it creates this nice kind of like baguette shape. I believe I used the moss stitch for this bag, if I remember correctly, and I do have a tutorial on this. I also use this sort of um, like brown vintage button um, and it attaches like kind of with this flap and then I also lined the inside with this gorgeous like gingham um, love heart lined fabric. This is definitely one of my favourite bags I think because of the inside detail even though it's not that visible on the outside like just knowing that you've added this kind of lining in the inside and it's like so special and sweet uh, I think that this bag is very very unique and um, yeah it's a great great project I think if you are looking for a little bit more of a challenge not so much a beginner but maybe an intermediate project but I did actually hand sew this and I thought it went fine so yeah I will link the tutorial for this down below the next project that I really really love making in February was these bluebell bookmarks I used the same pattern that I used for the bluebell bag and um, that charm except I just added a long chain in the middle and I slip stitched down the chain um, and I just made this the length of a book and I think that this just makes kind of um, reading a more special experience um, and yeah I made these in blue, cream, purple and I think maybe pink as well. Um, these are a really really simple project. I don't believe I've made a tutorial on this but you can kind of probably figure it out from the bluebell bag um, charm that I made you just basically add um, a string in the middle, whatever stitch choice that you want. Um, but if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this, I can do that. So yeah. Last project for February that I loved was this fawn tote bag that I made. Um, I designed the um, picture on Stitch Fiddle. I drew this up. So I've added some butterflies and then this cute fawn and then a patch of grass with some mushrooms. And this bag is very, very special to me. Um, I also lined it with some white fabric. This project was very, very time consuming, but worth it worth it in the end. So the main pattern of it is half double crochet I believe and then the straps I did double crochet. Um, so if you guys would like me to share the pixel design then I will um, add that in the description um, but I don't think I'll be making a tutorial for this just because the design was so intricate I think that the video would be quite long um, however if you are a more advanced crocheter then you might be okay with this type of tapestry um, but I think for a beginner it may be a little bit more difficult. So in March I didn't have many that were my absolute favourites except for one. This is my most popular YouTube um, crochet tutorial and that is the crochet hook holder storage case, um, cottage core theme of course. And I made this basically with two solid panels just of the moss stitch and then I added um, extra pockets which were I believe half double crochet and same for the scissor pocket and the um, button pocket sort of thing and basically it just folds in like this and then it attaches with a flap and a button around here. This is definitely more of an intermediate project but I do think you can simplify it by making it with a much easier stitch such as like single crochet or like half double crochet. You don't have to use the moss stitch and you don't even have to do the frills around the edge. Um, everything is basically just panels of a stitch. So long panels for the hooks and um, a large sort of square rectangular panel for the back and then kind of a rectangular panel for the scissor pocket and then um, two rectangular panels for the button pocket and then a decrease um, section here for the flap to come down but again you don't even have to do the decrease section you could simply just do um, a higher rectangular panel for the back 
that will let it fold over so you can kind of find ways to simplify it but what I really love about this project is the frills on the outside it's kind of got giving like a floral kind of effect which I love and I also made this in a kind of fairy um, coloured yarn I think this was the James C. Brett marble yarn um, I think this was in green mix this is my absolute favourite yarn um, colour combination um, in terms of all the yarns that I've tried this is my favourite one just the effect that it gives um, it's kind of muted colours but up close when you see I feel like the camera's not picking up the pinks very well but there's some really like soft pinks and lilacs in here and it's just my favourite and then on the inside I added like these berry tones as well and then um, the sparkly purple yarn from the range this project is one that I use pretty often as well um, it's just so handy to store like your scissors and your buttons and your hooks and you don't even have to make this if you don't want to use it for crochet hooks or anything you can put pencils in here pens craft supplies anything um, so yeah this is a really handy project to make and I will link the tutorial down below so my favourite project for April was two different projects, the first being this blue cherry cardigan that I made. This has a flare sleeve and then frills around the hem and then I did this sort of cherry stitch um, and then I sewed the green leaves across. Um, this is a very very easy project and this is all using double crochet so it works up quite quickly as well. I definitely think if I was to make an improvement on this cardigan however I would use a softer yarn. I think if I was to improve this project though I would definitely choose a different yarn maybe like a baby yarn just so that it's a little bit softer because this yarn is particularly scratchy um, but I think I am definitely going to be remaking this cardigan in a more softer yarn for 2024. I do have a tutorial on this cardigan I would definitely say this is a beginner friendly project um, since this is made of double crochet um, and not much else. I believe it's just double crochet and slip stitches and then like a puff stitch for the cherries and then just sewing across the leaves so it's pretty simple when you break it down. And last project for April that I really really loved making was this cherry airpods case. It's got like this cherry design all the way around and I used the same stitch that I did for the cardigan. Um, so if you guys would like a tutorial on this then comment down below because I would definitely be happy to make one. I think that airpods cases and like small projects um, are always really fun to make when you crochet and especially when the project is like really usable. So I think small projects are always for me more fun to make because they don't take as long and I always like to make ones that I genuinely will use. Um, so yeah. So for May, there was only one project that I really felt was my favourite one that I made and that is the strawberry water bottle holder. I didn't make a tutorial for this but I am happy to if you guys would like one. This is basically just made up of double crochets and then an alternating stitch um, all the way up here with like double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet. It's pretty simple to make as well. And then the strap is literally just um, a chain of double crochet and then slip stitch on the other side and then turn and then a double crochet um, row on going down the opposite way. And then it just has like a strawberry applique with made with um, a puff stitch um, thing. And then it also has a bow um, that is a drawstring around the top. I think that this is also a really handy project to make even all year round but especially in the summer when we are drinking more water when in the warmer weather um, so yeah I really really liked making this project and it really wasn't that long either so maybe consider this for a project in 2024 but yeah that was it for May needed a drink for a second so for June I had a couple of projects that were my favorites the first being this pixel crochet cherry book sleeve um, this was made with um, a design that I made on Stitch Fiddle and it was with, well, I can't remember if it was half double crochet or single crochet but I do have a tutorial for this, I will link it down below. It is an in-depth tutorial for pixel crochet so it's perfect for beginners um, and how to read a graph and also how to change colours. Um, especially various colours in a single row. I think that this is quite a nice gift idea as well for like people who read. Book accessories are always kind of a special thing that you don't really think about getting or uh, making for someone but I read quite a bit and when I make something that I can add to my books whether that's a book sleeve, a bookmark, um, whatever it is I think that I, it always makes me kind of more excited to read. And last thing that I loved in June was this fawn 
glasses case, um, well it can also be a hook case, a pencil case, a makeup bag, whatever you want, um, but it's just a drawstring bag and it's made with double crochets all the way up, it's literally just working in the round making double crochets all the way up and then the top I think was an alternating stitch of one half double crochet and then three half double crochets in the next stitch I believe and I think I did that for two rows. I do have a tutorial for this which I will link down below and the fawn is the same fawn that I made in the um, fawn like portrait um, tutorial but I've also got that in the glasses case tutorial as well. So yeah consider this for your next project of 2024. So for June I had two particular projects that were my favourites, the first being this gorgeous summer top okay looks like this it's got like cap sleeves which i think is always really flattering and it's kind of got like a sweetheart neckline which is really really flattering especially in summer as well i did a variety of colors and this is all in um, cotton yarn i think i used the elizabeth stitch for this and i do have a tutorial for this top this one i made was quite cropped but i did make another one that was sort of I think it's kind of giving like the Mamma Mia vibes, the colours especially, um, and it has a drawstring front and this one was made with acrylic yarn so it's a bit warmer. Um, I definitely recommend for summer tops cotton yarn, it's a bit more breathable. Um, but yeah, I loved making this top, I love the effect that the uh, Elizabeth stitch gave as well. It was definitely a different one I haven't really tried before. And I think that this top also works up quite quickly as well. Um, I would definitely say this is more of an intermediate project, maybe advanced as well, simply because it does involve a little bit more like calculating and decreasing and increasing, especially with a more advanced stitch. Um, but yeah, this was a top that I actually genuinely wear all the time, especially in summer. Um, so yeah, I will link the tutorial for this down below. Okay, and my last favourite project of July, I think we're on July, aren't we? I think, I think we're on July, was these bunny um, bag charm keyring type decorations. Also, you could have them as an ornament. It's a very versatile project to make, very, very quick and small, doesn't require a lot of yarn great scrap project as well. Um, I definitely think that I would say this is leaning more towards intermediate just because the way that I made this is a little bit on the fiddly side so I think that for a beginner it might be a little pushing it a little bit and I genuinely love to use these on my accessories whether it's you know bags or um, like water bottle holders. I love um, just adding little pieces to kind of um, make a project appear like you've almost done more to it and then made it a lot more special so yeah um, I will link the tutorial for this down below oh my goodness how could I forget this I also have another favorite project from July which was the Barbie themed um, like art print style but crochet version um, tapestry Pieces. So this is all made um, on pixel crochet, I made this on Stitch Fiddle. This is a Barbie inspired love heart telephone type of thing. And then I also did a Barbie inspired roller skate with a love heart. And lastly I did a Barbie inspired, just like a um, daisy flower. Um, I also made a gingham um, basket which was Barbie inspired. I have a tutorial on this um, on my channel so I will link that down below. Um, but yeah, that was a very fun month I think. I think everything was, was Barbie and it was a, a, a really like fun and inspiring time and I really enjoyed making these. So in August I have three favourite projects from that month. So firstly I have this toadstool pillow. This is a very beginner friendly project. I really really love making this um, just because of how quick it worked up as well especially with chunky yarn and I basically just made two of these shapes and joined them together and then added some spots as well um, and I love um, keeping this on the back of my office chair. Everything in my room is pretty much cottage core themed so this is like perfect and I think I don't have a lot of red in my room so this is also quite eye-catching. You could also even uh, like add maybe like a face to it and it could kind of become like a 
mushroom plushy type of pillow um, so yeah next project is definitely more of a DIY crochet project so if you're into that then you're definitely gonna love this one so this is a DIY crochet photo frame these are celestial themed so I've done a moon frame and I also did a stars frame so I basically printed out two pictures on photo paper and then I cut out a piece of cardboard of the size that I wanted so one was landscape and one I did portrait and then I basically crocheted to uh, a panel for the back I did like a small panel across here and then I turned the work and then started working up and then turned the work again and started working this way and then down and then I just joined the last two seams together and then I just made um, a hanging portion um, with I think single crochet and I also added two holes on the cardboard section um, to attach the hanging um, string. Making kind of your own frames I think always makes a gift more personalised and um, even if it's just for yourself always just adds a nice special element to a room when you have like these photo frames but they have a little bit of your own hobby in them and anything celestial theme I really love as well. Last project of August was this kind of glowing fairy door hanging ornament slash bag charm. Could be pretty, pretty much pretty versatile. So this is quite a quick project to make and I also made this in a light brown. I currently have one of these on my Christmas tree right now. So they are a really good um, like ornament even for Christmas time or just like I sometimes hang these like on like um, a hook or something and they're just like a nice little quick small project to make good scrap yarn project as well and it has like this kind of flower bush along the bottom and a doorknob and then it has like this glowing window and I did that with like a bright yellow yarn um, again one of my favorite projects just because it's so simple and gets so effective now moving on to September starting off with this kind of faux knit stripey bag with kind of these autumnal full colors and then a fluffy kind of textured strap um, it's kind of also like a fleece feel to it um, I really love this bag I like the shape of it as well I can't describe it but it's like straight edges along the side and then it kind of scoops under at the bottom and it's got this sort of faux knit stitch going all the way down and it's basically half double crochet in the back loop um, all the way across and then I just change colors every two rows I think along the bottom I've done decreasing and then no decreasing in the middle and then increasing at the edge so it creates this kind of slanted effect at the bottom. Um, love the colours on this project and then on the back I just did the exact same. always think it's nice to add um, different textures of yarn in a project as well. Um, so yeah I really liked this one and I have a tutorial which I will link down below as well. Last project for September is this kind of Harry Potter-ish inspired, Weasley inspired jumper um, made with scrap yarn. I made this as kind of a budget video, um, so I made this for five pounds. I basically got a big mixed bag of yarn from a charity shop which was five pounds and I made this jumper using only that yarn. So I've basically got a variety of colors in here got like a mustard color, the orange yellow mix color, um, browns, light browns, oranges, bright oranges, lots of different colors and then I also made like a small collar and I also did this kind of collar around the neck which I think kind of gives more um, of that kind of school kind of uniform vibe if you know what I mean it's quite like dark academia vibe which I really liked and then for the cuffs I just did like a dark brown yarn um, so go and check that out it is a tutorial and I also made it as like a um, what you can crochet on a budget video um, so yeah check out your charity shops because more often than not they do have a good variety of yarn for a really good price um, and yarn doesn't always have to be super expensive yeah I really love this project okay moving on to October so I had two projects that were my favorites for October and that was firstly these potion bottles in three different sizes and they've each got like these love heart labels so these are all like love potions I wanted to kind of play on the Halloween vibe but also make it quite sweet and fun um, and not so much spooky so I thought that these love potions were great this is also a great project to do for like Valentine's Day as well so 
Oh, and I also stuffed these with scrap yarn as well. So I didn't use any stuffing for this, um, just scrap yarn. So it's a pretty good scrap yarn project as well. Um, and I have a tutorial for this, which I will link down below. Last project for October that I love making. This has to be one of my favorite projects that I have ever made. And that is the Dear Pumpkin Patch book sleeve. I made this with the moss stitch and I also did a behind the scenes video where I drew up this design and I basically planned out exactly how I was going to do it. So go and check that video out. It was more of a cozy vlog. Book sleeve also has a nice like vintage button and then it just shuts with this kind of um, loop that goes around. This is a great project again for book lovers um, and you can just make it to, to the length that you want and to the height that you want and if you're looking for a little bit more of a, an aesthetic kind of project then this is perfect. Okay so moving on to November I have three projects that were my favourites from this month. Firstly being this rosebud, firstly being this rosebud hook bag, it can also be used as a pencil case or a makeup bag or anything, just a really good storage case and I use this all the time to store all of my hooks in as you can see and the great thing about this is that it is a drawstring bag as well so you can just pull on the ties and it will draw in and then the uh, ends have these really nice little rose buds on and this um, bag was inspired by the A Court of Thorns and Roses book I read that this year I believe and I just love that book so much so this was inspired by that. It's really, really simple. It's made up of half double crochets, I believe. I do have a tutorial for this, which I will link down below. The next project that I made in November that I loved making is this fairy moss sweater. This is like a faux knit crochet stitch. So it's a knit look stitch, but it's crocheted and it is the half double crochet in the back loop. And it's like alternating between the front loop and the back loop and I have a tutorial on this which I will link down below but I love this so much I use this really nice like chunky knit and I actually used a bigger hook this time normally I size down but I actually use the recommended hook size and I think that this gives it a more relaxed fit this is definitely I would say a good beginner friendly project to try and it's also customizable so you can make the neck as large as you want and also the cuffs as large as you want all of it is pretty much customizable to your size it is a made to measure tutorial um so yeah i will link that one down below kind of saving the best till last for november this is probably my winner for 2023 um overall my favorite project that i've made um, and i think it's because of the time and effort and planning that went into making this um, I actually planned out the design in the summer, I think around August time, but I didn't actually start making it until November just because of the planning it took um, and I was just, I really wanted to make sure that everything was well executed in the video. Without further ado, this is my favourite project of 2023 and my favourite one of November and it is this pixel crochet bunny rabbit strawberry sweater. This is what it's looking like. This is just so special to me. I really wanted something that was cream and green and pink and then like something with a rabbit on it. And I drew this design up on Stitch Fiddle and I have a tutorial on this and it is also a customizable tutorial. I used 100% wool for this jumper and I wore this also out on a Christmas market and I stayed warm all night. It was like a freezing, evening in November and I stayed so warm all night because of this jumper it was so so warm um, I used the drops snow yarn I believe um, and I highly highly recommend it um, it's really nice to crochet with I really highly recommend making this for a next project in 2024 okay so my favorite projects for December I have quite a lot um, for this month I just really really loved the things that I made in December. Starting off with these cottage core style bookmarks. These are like strawberry jam bookmarks and they kind of slot into the corner of a book page and then they've got these nice little kind of frill scallop edge um, detail here and then here is the strawberry jam pot and then I also made this in purple and I have a tutorial that I will link down below. I loved making these, they were really, really quick. And I think with cotton yarn as well, it just looks more seamless. 
highly highly recommend making this. The next project that I made um, in December that I loved was this like cute rosebud airpods kind of handbag so it can fit your airpods. It's also customizable so whatever airpod size that you have um, you can just basically make a chain that goes across and fits across comfortably and then just work your way up. Again, I made this with Drops. I think it was Drops Love You yarn. This this one was made out of. It's like this cute pastel yellow. And then it's this rosebud, which is basically working as the button. And then the strap just goes around the rose and then you can just take the AirPods case out. And just for a little bit of detail, I added this really cute pearl to the center of the rosebud as well, which I just think makes it kind of sparkle a bit more. I also made it in pink, and I think I do prefer the pink just a little bit more, because um, I think it just all kind of blends together really nicely. Um, so yeah, I will link the tutorial for this down below. And the tutorial also includes a Granny Square pet collar, which is customizable to any pet size as well. So yeah, check that out. Okay, my next project that I loved making in December is this teddy bear Christmas headphone cover accessory. And this is again, customizable to any headphone size that you have. I made this in brown and has like this white ear detail. And then I also made these holly berry decorations that just tie around. It's just so, so cute. I wear these all the time. <laughs> And what's good is that you can obviously change out the accessories on the side and you can make different ones. I am planning to make more ex headphone accessory style things so that I can add to these um, so just to change it up a bit. Um, obviously I'm not gonna be wearing the Christmas ones all year round so I'm gonna have to make something maybe for spring. I also made them in white and with a pink ear detail and then pink holly berries as well. So um, the tutorial will be linked down below. This is, I would definitely say it's more intermediate just because it's a little bit more fiddly attaching um, the kind of headband section to the ear um, piece. And the final project that I really, really love making in December was these gloves. Uh, well, they're like mittens, aren't they? And they're like stripy, um, pink, light brown and dark brown. And then I did this kind of like ribbing around the, the wrist section. And I think that it just gives like a, quite a cool knit look. And then the rest of the mittens are double crochet. I definitely think that these are a pretty good beginner friendly project. And um, I didn't make these exact ones in a tutorial, but I did make um, these fluffy um, ones. Um, they were like a, it was a winter themed crochet projects video and it's got a fluffy um, wristband and then it's the same pattern for this section of the gloves so I will link that down below um, but I really really love the colours of these and I think that this is a really enjoyable project I think roughly the project probably took me about four hours once I got a pattern figured out um, and yeah these keep me really really warm so Highly recommend making some mittens. Well guys, that is all of my favorite projects that I made this year. Let me know what your favorite project was that you made this year and let me know what you would like to see me make in 2024. Thank you all so, so much for the support this year. It really, really means a lot. And I hope to see you all in 2024 and I hope that you have all had a great Christmas and I have a great happy new year and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.